What is going on everyone? It is Fatal Reaper today, bringing you another video on the HP Pavilion. And today I just wanted to touch up on this video is how to fix the lag on the HP Pavilion. As always guys, before we start, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, it really helps me out and really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So in this video I'm going to be talking about the best things to help lag. So there's a few different things that can cause lag. First being which, this is the pretty noticeable one, pretty easy to change, is right here, you can see the right corner is your battery life. So let me zoom in here for you just to help you out see it. You're going to click the battery button here. And basically what that's going to do, it's going to bring up this, it's going to say power mode, on battery best performance. You want always best performance when you are gaming. Now if you can turn it on best battery life, and obviously it will... Um, uh, cause you to save battery, but when in doing that, and I'll show you here later in the video what that does to certain games, even single player games, it can bog the uh, everything down the system because it's trying to save battery. So in return, you'll get actually glitchiness and screen tearing in some situations and lag. So always make sure when you're gaming, going for good games or wanting to play higher, especially games that require more um, higher performance, you want best performance. The next thing I'm going to touch on is kind of in one of my previous videos of how to optimize the laptop. Um, you can go check that out, link down in the description below. So on this laptop, I'm going to be showing you um, right here in the left corner. So we'll get out of the zoom here. Right here in the left corner here, as you guys know, there is an Ethernet cord, um, an Ethernet port. I cannot stress this enough, if you do have bad connection, um, like me, and you are experiencing lag and you know you don't have the best internet connection, be sure to plug up an ethernet cord and I'm guaranteeing you will fix your problems. It fixed a lot of mine, um, and that's a pretty normal basis. Um, as far as everything goes like that to fix a lag, again, lag is a different situation than, uh, you know, anything else you might be experiencing. Um, there's other videos I do have on how to upgrade the RAM. So I do highly recommend, I have noticed a big jump. I do have 16 gigs of RAM in this. So um, a lot of people, I've actually had a comments of people saying, oh, what laptop is this, what laptop is this? Most of the time I have the laptop in the description, especially if I'm showing you a game. But in some cases like videos like this, it's in the description below uh, or in the title is when I'm doing the games in the description below also. So check the description below, but I'll go ahead and say it, it is a GTX 1650, an i5 9300, 225 or 256 gigabyte SSD. And it, so, it does come with eight gigabyte RAM to start off with. I have 16 gigs of RAM in this now. So it does work a lot better in most cases and does run better. I have noticed a, a change where as far as when I'm playing games, it does run them very more smoothly. And I actually did get a bit of a frame increase, especially on Fortnite. Um, now, just to clarify, for, um, RAM does not always guarantee you um, a frame boost. It can in some situations, some games that require more RAM, it can. And in some say, cases, it might not really at all. Um, I will be doing a revised edition on Fortnite. With this laptop with a 16 gigabyte RAM, I will also be doing a revised edition on Modern Warfare with 16 gigabyte RAM. That way, you guys can see that and see the changes. And I'll play them side by, or I'll play them first on you know the original video I did, and then the little video afterwards. That way, you guys can see that and notice that, uh, notice the change. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is the main part of um, you know the lag and everything and how to fix um lag now those are just two simple steps you can look up more there are more options that you could do to fix some lag if you're having any other issues um maybe a restart or even upgrading your graphics drivers on geforce experience right here click it and then you will go for um check for updates and the very screen you'll click drivers and here let me turn up the screen here so right there as you can see right there after you click geforce experience you will click drivers and then you will click check for updates, mine are up to date. And that's what's going to get you your um, graphics drivers update. And that sometimes can fix a uh, possible frame drop and other things. Not all the time. You know, sometimes some updates don't actually, are not going to really, really um, cause that big of a difference. But for some part, uh, for some situations, I have noticed that updating the graphics drivers did in fact help. Um, and maybe you're all you're really your laptop needs is a simple restart. Also, make sure you don't have a lot of programs running. If you have bad internet, or even if you don't, try to make sure a lot of your programs are not running. Like, click exit on them right here in the right corner. Like, I have Steam running a lot. Click exit. Make sure you exit those things. That way, the stuff is not downloading or playing at the same time. 
with that guys with that being said guys i hope you enjoyed this video on how to fix lag that is the main things that i know that have fixed uh not only lag on my laptop but on my computer and certain things that i've run into in the past and everything like that so be sure to hit that like button as always and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video so in this portion guys i just wanted to show you what happens when you have low power a battery life on when you're trying to save battery and what happens to into a game so i'm using resident evil 4 here in this example and this happens in a lot of games it is just so delayed and that you always want to make sure you have high performance on or you probably will get this in, and this is a single player game that does not take a lot to run so this is just a little example here almost every game you do that with is going to do the same thing so after you click a cleared game here load the data load data and then we get into the game and it's just so laggy um that being said again guys be sure you're using um you know a uh, high performance on your battery with that being said though guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you got any questions feel free to leave me some comments down below if you want me to see i uh, want to see different videos new videos um anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as always and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching